Let's build the microcontroller based system. We'll start with the microcontroller, which is the TM4C123. And we will show you a data flow diagram which illustrates how information flows through the system. We have our inputs, which in this case is a switch, and we have our output, which in this case is an LED, and the information will flow from the input into the microcontroller. We will then design software to process that information and that information will then flow to the outputs. All right, let's build the input. All right, we have two steps to build the system. The first is we're going to connect the switch. Okay? The switch, as we saw, is drawn like this and it's either in the open state, as shown here, or the switch is in the closed state where the connections are made between the terminals. All right, our goal of this design, our goal, our objective here, is to convert the switch state all the way into logic as seen by the microcontroller. But we're gonna go through a voltage step such that if the switch is open, we are going to have a zero volts generated at the microcontroller, which will become a logic zero. And if the switch is closed, then we want to produce a 3.3 volt signal, which will be shown or seen by the microcontroller as a logic one. And the idea is we're going to connect this signal that we generated, this voltage right here that we generated, we're going to connect that to one of the microcontroller pins. And I've just picked PD0, but we could have used any one we wanted. And there's my microcontroller. I want to connect the signal there. Okay. So what are the components we need to create 3.3 volts? Well, we need 3.3 volts, so we'll start with 3.3 volts. And we're going to want to generate zero, so we're going to need a ground. And we're going to want a way such that if the switch is uh, closed, we then have a 3.3. So if I put the switch right here, I got half of it done. You see, now, if the switch were to be closed, then I will have 3.3 volts. Okay. But the other part is if the switch is open, I want to have zero volts. So in order to get that happen, I'll put a 10K resistor here. And now my circuit's done. And we can check to see that this works by looking at the two scenarios. Again, if the switch is open, it'll look like this. The switch is not connected. And there's PD0, but the resistor is there. and we see we're gonna have zero volts, and the microcontroller will see that as a logic low. And if the switch is open, I mean, if the switch is closed, then it's connected, and we have PD0 connected directly to 3.3. We get a 3.3 volts here. The resistor's still there, but it's not getting in our way. 10K. So we see this works. All right, that's half. Next, we'll do the light emitting diode. The light emitting diode we saw was a symbol like this. And I like to think of it as a funnel that draws current in this direction. Current can flow in the funnel, but not the other way. So there's a current, we we'll call that the forward current, and a voltage across, which we'll call the forward voltage. All right. Our goal 
is the opposite now. We're going to have our goal is now we're going to take the logic of the microcontroller and convert it to what the LED does. And if the logic is a zero, we're going to have the LED off. Uh, this is called positive logic. And we're going to do that by having an output voltage here where if the logic is zero, the voltage will be zero. And then the microcontroller will have a logic one, which will generate a 3.3 volts, and that was going to generate the current on. This is called positive logic. Because the true has a voltage higher than the false. That's positive logic. So the active state with the LED on is going to be a positive higher voltage than there. All right, so now we need to build it. All right, T. We're going to take a different pin. Last time we, for the input we used PD0, or for the output we're going to use PD3. This is our microcontroller here. And we want to have the circuit such that when the output is high, the LED comes on. Again, we have a plus VF there. Now the current that we're going to get through here is going to match the current there. There's nowhere else to go. So these are going to be the same currents. But the voltages will be different. Okay? The voltage across the resistor is different than the voltage across uh, the diode. All right, so let's do the two states. Uh, let's assume that now that the output is high. Okay, so again, this is a 1 in the logic, which is going to give me a 3.3 volts here. Okay? And that's going to generate current flowing in this direction, and we want the LED to be on. Now, the way an LED works is that there is a relationship between the voltage that we have in the LED, which we call the forward voltage, and the current, which we have across. And it's very nonlinear, exponential to be sure, uh, in this relationship. You see the resistor had a linear relationship, but the LED has got this nonlinear one. And I love the brightness of three milliamps, which is going to have a corresponding Uh, voltage of 1.8 volts. Okay. Now it turns out the brightness is a function of power. So in this case, V times I, which is uh, 1.8 volts times 3 milliamps. That's how bright it's going to be. All right, so how do we get this to happen? Well, we go back to our circuit and we realize that if I'm at this operating point right there, if I'm at this operating point right here, then this uh, voltage here is 3.3 volts, this voltage here is 1.8 volts, and due to this voltage divider, this has to be 3.3 minus 1.8, which is 1.5. So now I just have to choose the resistor to get the current that I want. Okay, so the current, the forward current here, is going to be the same as the current through the resistor. We already did that. And that's going to be the voltage across the resistor divided by the resistance, which in this case is going to be 1.5 divided by R. And so if I choose R equal 500 ohms, then my forward current 
is going to be 3 milliamps. Now, I don't have 500 ohms. I had 470. It's close enough. All right, so we built the circuit. Uh, we designed the circuit. Uh, now let's build it.